Hello, I'm Kathy Tovo, and it's been an honor and a privilege to serve as Mayor Pro Tem for the City of Austin and to represent District 9 on the Austin City Council. I first ran for council because I wanted to fight for progressive policies that benefit all of us. I promised to be a different kind of council member, and I've kept that promise every day at City Hall. My service on council has been about representing everyday Austinites, weighing any council action, big or small, against the effect it might have on the people who live, study, raise families, and work here in Austin. I started as an advocate in my own neighborhood. I got engaged in my neighborhood association while I was teaching college classes and writing in interdisciplinary studies. But over the years, I got more and more involved as the president of my local neighborhood association and then by serving on a number of city boards and school district task forces like the city's planning commission and AISD's community committee on neighborhoods and schools. I brought to those positions the same values that I've brought to City Council, the values of community, of fair play, equity, and looking out for our working families. As your City Council member, I've worked with the community, and together we've succeeded in bringing real tangible change to our city. Austin still has challenges, and there are no easy resolutions to homelessness, to escalating housing prices, traffic, economic inequity, and other complex problems. Real progress takes all of us working together and being persistent to keep our city moving in the right direction. During my time on council, we've been able to make real progress on the issues that matter to our city, like affordable housing, transportation, climate change, homelessness, civil rights, women's rights, worker protections, and many others. And I'm proud of my record. I'm proud of the work I've done to increase the amount of money going to our housing trust fund to create and preserve affordable housing, of leading on exploring important tenant protections and anti-displacement measures, such as the Right to Return and the Tenants' Right to Purchase Act, of supporting the development and then the expansion of the Homelessness Outreach Street Team, and finally opening the Sobering Center after it had stalled for more than a decade of passing an action plan for ending homelessness in this community, and then increasing the city resources put toward that effort of making sure every one of our neighbors has a safe and stable place to call home. I'm proud of helping lead the way to set ambitious goals for renewable energy and for increasing our use of solar, for protecting our workers by strengthening our non-discrimination policies and passing paid sick leave and fair chance hiring, for advancing the largest mobility bond in Austin history with new funding for corridors, sidewalks, urban trails, bike lanes, and more. It's been a busy few years, but together we've been able to take real action to deliver real solutions to some of our most pressing problems. Of course, we're seeing now that we can't take any of these hard-won victories for granted. Where once residents could work through their city government to build the communities they wanted to see, with Donald Trump in the White House, Ted Cruz in the Senate, and Greg Abbott in the Governor's Mansion, we're seeing a lot of the progress we've made turn back. We've seen the federal government attacking the rights of residents here in Austin, while the state tries to take away our local control. And that's why this year's election is critical. We need local leaders who will protect our progress and will lead us ahead. Our city is facing significant changes, and District 9 is at the epicenter of many of those changes. I'll continue to support a city hall that works on behalf of everyday Austinites. I firmly believe we can welcome new companies to our city without providing huge incentives. We can embrace visitors and use the taxes they generate not just to attract more and more visitors, but rather to reinvest in our city's many precious assets like Barton Springs. We can have land use rules that accommodate growth and change in appropriate areas, but that don't override our neighborhood plans and land use patterns and that don't result in widespread redevelopment and displacement of the residents who live here. We can foster development and protect our environmentally sensitive lands. And we must do a better job of reaching out to our neighbors in need and to move closer to a day when Austin's prosperity is enjoyed by all who live here. I'm Kathy Tovo. I've been with you, standing up for your community as your District 9 Council Member. And I'm eager to continue working to make Austin, Texas an even better place to live for all of its residents who live here now those in District 9 and throughout the city. I'm so honored to be supported in my re-election by the Central Labor Council, the Workers' Defense Action Fund, AFSCME, Education Austin, the Laborers International Union of North America, Unite Here, and every other labor organization that's endorsed in this race, based on my track record of supporting working families in this community. My environmental record has earned me endorsements from the Sierra Club and Clean Water Action, and I've been proud to have been endorsed by many Democratic clubs, by the Texas Alliance of Retired Americans, the Asian American Political Action Committee, and the Austin Neighborhoods Council. And now I respectfully ask for your support in the District 9 City Council race so that together we can continue working to make Austin the best city in the nation. Thank you for your time. You can learn more at kathyforaustin.com.